स्टूडेंट्स फ्रॉम यूर पेपर सिक्स कॉम्पिटिशनल बॉटनी टी वाई बी एस सी टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू गेट आइडिया अबाउट यूनिट नंबर फाइव इन द लास्ट लेक्चर इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी हैव गॉट द आइडिया अबाउट द फोर्थ यूनिट मेजर्स ऑफ सेंट्रल टेंडेंसी नाउ टूडे वी हैव टू गेट आइडिया अबाउट द मेजर्स ऑफ डिस्पर्जन students actually what is the measures of dispersion that we have to understand and then we will get idea about the further points from this topic according to the scientist or statistician konar dispersion is a measure of the extent to which the individual atom vary isn't it dispersion is a measure of the extent to which the individual atom vary isn't it so this is according to the statistician konar that is dispersion is a measure of the extent to which the individual atom vary again dispersion refers to the variation of a atom among themselves around and average greater the variation amongst the different atoms of the series the more will be the dispersion so greater the variation amongst the different items of the series more will be the dispersion as per bauli again this is a statistician dispersion is a measure of variations of the item now what are the objectives of measuring the dispersion we have to get idea with the help of this slide that is what are the objectives of measuring the dispersion here determine the reliability of an average most important first objective that is to determine the reliability of an average compare the variability of two or more series isn't it compare the variability of two or more series again for facilitating facilitating the use of other statistical measures and basis of statistical quality control so these are the objectives of measuring dispersion now in this point we have to study the properties of a good measures of dispersion what are the properties should be there with the measures of dispersion good properties first easy to understand as we know that easy to understand simple to calculate rigidly defined based on all observations not affected by extreme observations and capable for further algebraic treatments these are the property of a good measures of a dispersion first one easy to understand second one that is simple to calculation at the time of calculation there should not be complications rigidly defined means formula should be there just to calculate the things or to uh, come to the conclusion with the help of a single we have to say that the figure not affected by extreme observation suppose extreme observations are there in the data isn't it then that should not be affected such a type of a characteristic or properties of a good measures of dispersion are there. capable of further algebraic treatment whenever we want to again go for further algebraic treatments to the calculated values then also that could be the possible now what are the types of then we have to understand the measures of dispersion there are main two types of the measures of dispersion that are the algebraic measures of dispersion and second one graphical isn't it further algebraic is again divided into four measures of sorry five measures of dispersion that are the absolute measures of dispersion range quartile mean deviation standard deviation these are the types of a we have to say that algebraic one now in case of relative isn't it in case of relative 
means algebraic is divided into absolute and relative two are there for my again kind information algebraic is divided into absolute and relative absolute further divided into range quartile mean deviation and standard deviation this is of a type of a we have to say that the absolute relative which is a second type of algebraic measure of dispersion that are having again coefficient of range coefficient of variance coefficient of quartile deviation coefficient of a mean deviation isn't it again i'm going to give you idea about the types of measures of dispersion there are two main types of the measures of dispersion that is algebraic and graphical algebraic again divided into the two types that is a absolute one and relative one absolute again divided into the four types of measures of dispersion that is a range quartile mean deviation and standard deviation relative further divided into again four types that is a coefficient of range coefficient of variance coefficient of a quartile deviation coefficient of a mean deviation now what is algebraic measures of dispersion then mathematical way to calculate the measures of dispersion that are the standard deviation coefficient of variance by using the number of formulas what are the characteristics of those mathematical way algebraic variables variables are used numerical figures formula and equations used in case of algebraic one isn't it now graphical as we have seen there are two types main types of the measures of dispersion in that one first that is algebraic second one is graphical in graphical measures of dispersion definitely calculate the measures of dispersion by figures and graphs calculation of a dispersion among the heights of the two students of the class from the average height using the graph so that graphical methodology methods can be used the measures can be used in this dispersion what could be the characteristics of this one visual way of measuring dispersion use of graphs and figures it helps to give it helps us to have an idea about dispersion practically at the glance so this is the difference between relative and graphical in case of graphical visual way of measuring the dispersion in case of graphical calculation calculating the things with the help of some formula here use of graphs and figures is there there we have to use the formula in case of the algebraic one now absolute measures of dispersion this is a first type of a relative measures of a dispersion it gives an idea about amount of dispersion in the set of observation amount the quantitative measures the dispersion in the same units as the units of the original data absolute measures cannot be used to compare the variations of a two or more series or data set absolute measures of dispersion are range mean deviation mean deviations standard deviations isn't it mean deviations range and standard these are the measures of a absolute one now relative measures of dispersion this measures sort of a ratio and are called as a coefficient each absolute measures of dispersion can be converted into its relative measures it can be used to compare the two or more set that is not possible in case of absolute but in case of the relative measures that is there is a possibility to compare the two or more sets now here my friends we have to get idea about a range what is the range range is nothing but the difference between the maximum and minimum observations in the data maximum and minimum observations that is nothing but r is equal to range is equal to higher value minus lower value isn't it now what are the what are the mm -hmm. 
merits of this range first merit that is simple and easy to understand in case of range that is a simple and easy one it is a quick it is a gives a quick answer immediate answer we can uh, take with the help of a range now what are the demerits it gives a rough answer not based on all the observations very we have to say that so range although this measures of dispersion is there this measures of dispersion gives a rough answer and it is not based on the all of the so all observations are not considered here because from the set of observations only set of observations of a data only two figures have been considered that is higher figure and lower isn't it not we have to say that other uh, points other we have to say that observations are considered here in case of calculation of range of that provided set of a observation set or data we have to say that it cannot be calculated in open ended distribution affected by sampling situations as the sampling situation changes definitely range changes so we have to say that these are the demerits disadvantages limitations of a range is there now what is mean deviation in case of mean deviation mean of all deviations in a given set of data obtained from a average mean of all our deviations in a given set of data obtained from the average that is known as a mean deviation in case of mean deviation deviations is a greater than the mean that deviation here not division deviation is a positive one isn't it deviation is a positive one when when deviation is greater than the mean then there that mean deviation is a always positive less than the mean deviation is negative isn't it mean deviation is also known as a average deviation an average deviation of seven part in this case the deviation taken from any average specifically mean more or median isn't it while taking their deviations we have to ignore the negative atom that is most important at the time of calculation of a mean deviations of the given data we will have to ignore the negative atoms isn't it and consider all atoms at a positive you have to treat each and every atom present in the uh, provided data set of data that we have to consider as a positive that is most important point we have to keep in mind at the time of calculation of a measures sorry mean deviation now what are the merits of mean deviation and what are the demerits it is easy to calculate readily understood it is based on all observations which is not possible in case of the already we have seen one of the so range in case of range only two we have to say that observations are considered that there is higher value having observation and lower but here all observations have been considered it is less affected by the extreme items extreme items are there extreme observations are there that never affects to the calculation of a mean deviation it is a good measure for the comparison of two distributions so comparison of two distribution is possible with the help of a mean deviation it is flexible in sense that it can be calculated from any measures of central tendency to it is flexibility is with the uh, mean deviation is there so, which is not we have to say that in case of Uh, the measures of central tendency that is mean mode median that we have uh, studied already in the unit 4 so here we can have capacity to flexibility is there in case of this mean deviation which is not in case of the uh, measures of central tendencies such as uh, mean mode and median what are the demerits then demerits can be used for further it cannot be used for further mathematical process cannot is word is there it is cannot be used for further mathematical processing mean deviation about the mean cannot be calculated when open end classes are given so calculation of a mean is not possible uh, about open end classes are given so here you have to keep in mind demerits it cannot be used for the not word you have to add here now standard deviation what is standard deviation standard deviation nothing but the square root of a variance 
standard deviation is nothing but the square root of a parent that is the definition what are the merits very popular scientific measures of dispersion i would like to give you idea my friend students when and when you will open the research papers when and when you will go through the uh, thesis of the phd work or research work i will say that some projects are there so at that time standard deviation plays important role in this uh, measures uh, measure of a dispersion and that is required isn't it so very popular scientific scientific measure of dispersion is there rigidly defined so formula is there of calculation of a standard deviation again comparison of a two or more distribution is possible with the help of uh, calculating the standard of deviation based on all observations here in case of the standard deviation all observations are considered here to calculate the standard deviation of the provided uh, data provided set of observations it is not much affected by sampling although sampling fluctuations takes place standard deviation never changes the unit of measurement of standard deviation are the same as that of the data as per the data standard deviation units are there that also we have to say that same so that it is again very interesting merit of the one of the measures of central tendency or sorry measures of dispersion Uh, this is standard deviation it is adaptable to for the mathematical treatments means once the standard value is in our hand sorry standard deviation is in our hand that can be again further treated uh, with the mathematical treatments are possible to that one and we can again uh, come to very interesting or we have to say that real inferences of the data the real inferences of the research work with the help of this standard so there is a lot of importance to this standard issue you have to concentrate on this uh, formula of the standard deviation which is used at the time of calculation work. again demerits are also there it is it gives a mere weightage to the values that are away from the mean and less to those values that are near to the mean so that is again uh, drawback is there of that one uh, a standard deviation gives a mere means there is a no value which are away from the mean Uh, mean and less to the those values that are near to mean which are close which are away from the mean that are not uh, uh, gives mere weightage means to the values that are away from the mean and less value uh, given by the standard deviation to those values which are very near to the mean it cannot be computed for the distribution with open ended to open ended classes are there then it is impossible to calculate the standard deviation of that one it cannot be used for the comparison of two data that is uh, sets which are expressed in different units of uh, different uh, units we have to say that the measurement so you have to keep in mind so such a type of uh, drawbacks of the standard deviations are also that that you have to keep in mind now as friend already i have told you so you have to always concentrate on the uh, formula again standard deviation is definition we have learned square root of a variance is that isn't it now it measures the spread of set of observations it measures the spread of set of observation it is absolute measure of dispersion so type of a absolute measure of dispersion is there the standard deviation it is uh, denoted by the small s isn't it and it is square root of one summation uh, x minus x bar bracket square divided by n minus 1 so this is the standard deviation formula which is used for the calculation so for grouped data for ungrouped data uh, different formulas are there now steps of calculation of a standard uh, deviation are, are there already we have seen formula that is a uh, standard deviation is equal to under root of a summation x minus x bar bracket square divided by n minus 1 that is equal to summation dx uh, bracket square uh, divided by n minus 1 yes is the sample standard deviation dx is equal to x minus x bar or dx square is equal to x minus x bar bracket squares some steps are there that is a calculate the arithmetic mean of the observation first of all means that is a x bar value is to be calculated find the deviation of a individual observation from the mean and denoted by delta x deviations we have to uh, delta x bar is to be calculated in the second step and square these deviations total mean like this and divide the sum dx square by the total number of observations and the exact and exact the root so this is the value of a standard deviation so these are the steps this is the formula of a calculation of a standard 
deviation is there now here examples there for the calculation of a standard as we know that first of all what we have to do that is the dx value or x bar value is to be calculated x bar value x bar value is to be calculated that is by summation x x bar that is nothing but the mean summation x divided by n variable that is the x is there isn't it so summation of that one uh, x is 182 and a number of observation 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so number of observation 8 is there so 182 divided by 8 that is equal to 22.75 we have to say that is the value of a x bar is there so we know that formula uh, under square uh, square root of a x minus x bar bracket square divided by n minus 1 is there so here we have calculated the value dx that is nothing but the x minus x bar x minus x bar so here uh, the value of dx that is nothing but the x value is a 10 and uh, our 22.7.5 uh, isn't it 7.5 is the value of x so x minus x bar we have to do so 10 minus 22.75 that is equal to 12.75 like that one 13 uh, we have to take the value minus 22.75 that is a mm, minus 9.70 is there so like that we have calculated this uh, dx values then the square of this we have to take that square in the square in the next topic dx square so 12.75 bracket square that value is 1 62.569.75 uh, bracket uh, square of this one is a 95.06 uh, 5.75 uh, bracket square that is a 33. Point so that is a square of all these things values are there so summation is most important summation of x minus x bar that is equal to 515.48 so here summation x minus x bar or dx value this is a value of a dx square so that is a 515 minus i'm sorry 0.48 divided by 8 that is number of observations minus 1 and uh, that values comes uh, under root of a 515.48 divided by 7 and that value under root 73.64 is nothing but the 8.58 is the mean deviation of the provided variables or data isn't it now again merits and demerits in two uh, column are given here so merits that is rigidly defined based on all observations as we have seen all observations are considered there less affected by the sampling fluctuation difficult to compare the merits of this point give more weightage to the extreme values and less value, less values which are near to the mean so more weightage is given uh, so there we have written mere my friends you have to keep in mind uh, in case of the demerits the more value is given to the extreme that you have to read so that is most important we have to say that the demerit uh, more information more value more weightage is given weightage w e i g s t spelling is here w e i g h t a g e weightage this spelling w e i g s t a g e to the extreme values and less values uh, and less to the values which are near to me which are near to me that are uh, not that much considered in case of calculation of a uh, standard deviation so that are the demerits again we have to get idea about another measures of dispersion that is a coefficient of a variation cv standard deviation is a absolute uh, measure of a dispersion so here we have to keep in mind a standard deviation of a height of plants and is compared with the weight of plant so here the word we have to keep in mind that are the cv so coefficient of variation is a absolute measure of dispersion coefficient of variation of a height of plant centimeters compared with the weight of plant so that is not possible in case of the standard deviation but in case of coefficient of variation it is possible just to compare the two different we have to say that the variable here we know that height of the plant is compared with the weight of the plant isn't it so this is possible in case of coefficient of variation that is not possible in case of standard deviation thus must be converted into relative measures of dispersion for the purpose of comparison a relative measure of dispersion is called as a coefficient of a variation 
it helps to measure the variability of a two or more samples variability can be measured smaller the uh, coefficient of variation greater the consistency less is the we have to say that the uh, coefficient of variation sample is the less homogeneous formula of that one standard deviation divided by x bar into 100 so this is the formula of a into 100 yes divided by x bar into 100 that is the formula for the we have to say that the calculation of a coefficient of variation that you have to keep in mind now the example is there how to calculate the coefficient of variation here we know that the formula uh, that is of a standard deviation divided by x bar into uh, 100 this is the formula and here also given the coefficient of variation that is equal to standard deviation divided by x bar into x bar in the sense mean multiplied by 100 so here we know that uh, after competition the series a series b is there series a having a x bar means uh, mean that is a 34.60 uh, series b having a uh, x bar that is nothing but the uh, mean that is a 27.10 uh, and uh, here standard deviations are given uh, series a that is a 14 series b that is of a 8 and formula we know that standard deviation divided by x bar into 100 that is of a coefficient of variation when we calculate that one here we can get the coefficient of variation that is 40.46 and coefficient of variation of a b series that is in our hand that is a 29.52 this shows that the data of series a are more more variable data a is a more variable and less consistent as compared to the data series b which are more consistent isn't it the variable and less consistent as compared to the data b which is a more consistent because it shows uh, the coefficient of variation value less that is a 29.52 okay with this my friend thank you today we have tried to complete the unit fifth actually what you have to do many more examples are there in the your book textbook that you have to try to solve then you will come to know that actually what are the measures of dispersion how to use and where to use that is most important isn't it in which case of so for that again thank you very much